Welcome back. It's still Morning Rush on Metro Television. We are live on DSTV Channel 277, live on Facebook and YouTube, Metro TV Ghana. Follow us on Instagram, Metro TV and the score GH. Now, we are the latter part of the show and we are having a conversation, an interesting one. There's an East Legon SME Summit coming up very, very soon. And this morning, I have Farouk Kalian, who is the Group CEO for Premium African Holdings, and also Alex Abe, who is the Chief Operations Officer for Premium Africa Holdings Ghana. And they are here to tell us what the East Legon SME Summit is all about. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How are you? It's good to have you in our studios. Okay, so straight away, what is the main reason? behind this SME summit? Well, um, if, if you would observe, SME um, development is very critical to Ghana's you know, economic yeah. advancement. Um, even when you look at the registry, 92% of you know, businesses that are registered are SMEs, mm -hmm. and they offer about 85% of employment to our, you know, our citizens. So it's yeah. very important that this very important block of our development is you know, enhanced yeah. and pushed, accelerated, yeah. to be able to play the very important role that it plays. Yeah. So um, these are efforts that we are also making to also complement what government is already it's doing. Also doing. I mean, you would admit that government is already stretched in terms of responsibility. Sure. So it might not be forthcoming. The expectations are not, you know, hitting the mark. So we as Premium African Holdings want to complement what the government is already doing. I have been able, I'm privileged to be in certain spaces where the SME conversation is very high. Um, the World Angel Business Forum, um, the Bill Clinton Holt Prize Forum, where, you know, every year a million dollars is given to a startup, you know, which eventually advanced to become an SME and then grows yeah. to become a big business. So. Um, collectively, as a company, we understand how important SME advancement is. So, we are here to also contribute right. um, to also push push that conversation. But coming from a very business background, this is a general question. Um, over the years, we've seen changes in the world. There has been a global change. Um, Africa, Ghana, and uh, other countries have been affected. How well has it impacted our businesses and our economy? Let's focus on all in Ghana. Well, um, to a large extent, I would say businesses are quite positioned to be agile. And once you're setting up a business, you need to consider some realities. Yeah. Um, what we have seen locally, I mean, within our own ecosystem, is most businesses are not ready when you know, they face such crises. Eventualities, yeah. okay. And so the main essence of this SME um, is actually to position businesses to be ready for okay. some of these shocks okay. Okay. that hit economies. I mean, we can't run away from True. such True. Um, scenarios, but yeah. as it is, we would have to embrace. And is the summit the first of its kind? Yes, definitely. Oh, first okay. of its kind. Okay. Um, we're probably going to have quite a number Other of ones. them yeah. um, over the years. Um, so that's, that's what That's it. But someone who asks, how is SME important for our growth as a country? I mean, the, the indicators are there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's clearly shows that it's very important. Like we always say, the private sector is the engine of growth. And it's important that this very you know, significant part of our development strategies is, is, is very much harnessed. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, government is already stretched in terms of what it can do. Um, in recent times, we've seen the commitment from government to really advance that space, support SMEs, and even in terms of regulation, now we want government to move away from the hammer approach yeah. to more of a collaborative sort of, you know, engagement yeah. where in terms of people paying their taxes, you know, being able to be, you know, responsible businesses in the environment so that we can all thrive. Um, this summit, mainly we chose East Legon because we want it to be a, you know. That was going to my next question. Yes. Why East Legon? <laughs> yeah, so if, 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 you, if, if, if you've, made, you've observed East Legon has transitioned from a purely residence to a heavily commercial yes, you know, space. Yes, I live in Adenta. So uh, uh, from uh, uh, Shiashi, you enter, then yes, businesses it, are from it, businesses. It's, it's lost its residential status yeah. to business, which is good. Yeah. I mean, it, it tells you that Ghanaians are really owning up to mm -hmm. starting businesses, and it, it excites us what yeah. the trend is, what, what we are experiencing. So it's quite an organized enclave. 
you realize that most people who set up business there mm -hmm. understand they yeah. are quite literate. So when you're trying to have conversations with them about the important role they play, what they need to do, they, they will get it. Yeah. So um, this, this, and this summit is one of many that we're going to do across mm -hmm. Africa. We are, we, I'm, I'm also um, vice chairman of the Turkey Africa Trade and Investment Council, okay. where we are seeking to you know, support SMEs to be able to actually forge partnership with other Turkish you yeah. know, SMEs so we can all grow. Um, if you realize <coughs> the Turkey Africa Trade Axis has been quite busy in recent mm -hmm. times because of the COVID and China has yeah. really slowed down in terms of when we working with Africa. So Turkey has come up very strongly and we want to leverage on that and be able to push the conversation. So it's a very important enterprise. It's, it's a, also a win-win situation. Absolutely. Yes. I, I'll be coming to Alex for us to talk about the activities for the day, the program and everything. But Farouk mentioned something, focusing on East Ligon. You see, it has moved from a, a pure residential area to a business area. Right. Compared to other places, can, we, um, can you make us understand when things are sold there, or whatever business is being done there, it's, it's higher than other areas uh, in terms of pricing. Mm -hmm. Has it got to do it because it has moved from um, a pure residential area to an industrial area? That is the main reason, or some factors play a part? Well, um, I think um, it's part of the reasons, but largely you realize that there's a hybrid system being run currently in okay. this on residential and industrial. And so cost of living is slightly higher than yeah. what you see yes. on the average Ghanaian spaces. And so you, businesses tend to have some higher overheads in terms of acquisition of spaces, in terms of running expenses yeah. and OPEX. And so we thought it wise to you know, put together all these businesses together share ideas, see what the pain points are, and address them. Post that, I think uh, most, most organizations or most countries haven't been too customer-centric in terms of these SMEs. Yeah. So we are looking at facilitating an extension of the SME business, which is the SME clinic, that's the support center. Okay, okay. So then, then let's move straight to the summit. What are the day's activities? What are some of the things that you'll be touching on? Maybe SME into brands, SME growth. What are the things that you talk about on the day? Well, there's a mixture of uh, businesses within East Ligon. I mean, we did some statistics and you could realize that there are about over a thousand businesses within East Ligon alone. Wow. And so, I mean, aggregation wise, we thought it wise, okay, can we begin the engagement with East Ligon. Definitely is going to roll across uh, the country. Okay. But the main reason is to foster unity, to foster competition and collaboration within businesses, as well as you know, provide needed support to okay. all the businesses within that enclave. Okay. But on the flyer, there are so many different people. Will you be speaking that day? Yes, I'm so. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, I see you, Alex. I also see you. I also see you. And they are, I can see there are different people from different backgrounds who touch on these things. So, awesome. when is it happening? Where and what time? Um, it's happening is in this Ligon um, at AH Hotel. <laughs> um, we want to centralize everything within East Ligon and consume most of the you know blocks of businesses within the space. Um, on the 19th, that's on the Saturday. Saturday. Sunday, 19th and 20th okay. of November. Okay. At the AH Hotel, yep. uh, 10 a.m. prompt. Okay. And how, if someone wants to join, how can they join? Or it's not allowed? Um, it is allowed. We've created several uh, registration channels okay. across the various social, media, social media portals. Platforms. Okay. And so, I mean, we currently, you can go to Premium Africa Holdings. Okay. Check the link. Um, we equally could share the link. Uh, through personal channels. Okay, but you can see the link. Um, okay. So um, that if, if we all want to join, participate, because it doesn't yeah, it's just, uh, and, spoil and, and anything. It also, it, also is, it also sets the tone for establishing the East Ligon SME Support Center, okay. where the center would deploy quite a number of services. Mm -hmm. The service offering in terms of digital marketing, um, business strategy, you know, basic pure accounting, you know, okay. fundamentals and also be able to build networking opportunities for some of these SMEs. 
East Legon is arguably one of Ghana's wealthiest addresses. And yes. we have quite a lot of entrepreneurs that have really succeeded in that space. So yeah. what we're trying to do is to identify some of these very successful entrepreneurs, match them with those who have also started in East okay. Legon to offer some coaching, you know, okay. you know, support Mentoring, system. Mentoring, support. E e exactly. So yeah. we, we all collectively grow. Um, if you want to walk through the number of, you know, millionaires who live in East Legon, I'm lot. sure it takes <laughs> quite a lot. So we also want to harness that, yes. you know, scenario yes. to be able to build the next generation of millionaires. So we've started off with East Legon. Like I said, we've done it across Africa. Um, Premium Africa Holdings is very Pan-African in, mm -hmm. in, in the way we move. So this is one of first of events. So we're very excited. The support About center, like Alex described, is like a clinic for mm -hmm. businesses in that enclave, you know, so. I can't wait. Sure. Can we have the, the registration? Okay, so to register, you can go to poeinternational.com okay. slash events. Okay, okay, okay. And um, poeinternational, one word, mm -hmm. dot com slash events. Okay, thank you very much, Farouk and thank Alex. You. But any final message, how, in terms of, or they should come and just witness everything by themselves? Well, I, I, I want to share something. I think um, over the years, there's an observation that we've all made. When SME start, a lot of times the lifestyle is competing with the business. <laughs> Immediately, the individual's lifestyle is competing with the business. I don't know if it's the fact that you see a CEO on your card, you want it to reflect in the car you drive, <laughs> you want it. So at times, we, we, we want to encourage people to be very modest. Yeah. When you start as a young business, um, make sure that the business is separate from what you do. Um, we've created certain stereotypes about, you know, business. Once you're in the East Legon enclave, you need to, it, it comes with a certain, you know, financial commitment yeah. and it hurts the business. We have done the audits. We've interviewed you know. people. We, we, we know, yeah. we, you sit with somebody, you interrogate his business, the challenges, and you walk outside and this guy is walking into a very, you Gosh, know, and, wow. and you, what, what's your passion? Do you want to grow the business yeah, or so do you want to, you know, so um, these are some of the things that the support yeah. center will look at. at. At times it's not, people haven't really sat down to, yeah. you know, so these are some of the things we want to look at. It's important, SME development is one that will transform this, con this country okay. and it's important that we understand what it means. We want government to be closer and then those who are in the space of regulation, we all always say that regulation has moved from the hammer approach mm -hmm. to more of a collaborative friendly you yeah. said you know so we can work together so it's very important that these things happen okay so it's the east Lego and sme summit that is happening on the 19th and the 20th that's saturday and sunday november 2022 venue ah hotel is located in east Lego, of right. course and it's 10 a.m prompt you guys have to be there and just um like you said we don't understand certain things, but then that day, so many answers exactly. will be answered and other things. Thank you very much, Farouk. And, and I think um, finally, I would want to say a very big thank you to some of our sponsors and okay. partners. Um, the Jospon Group, uh, for instance, have been extremely supportive for this process. We want to say thank you to Eco Capital Investment. Okay. Um, we want to say thank you to POE for their aggression and their commitment to the task, as well as TATIC, um, Turkey Africa Trade and Investment Council, of which I'm equally a director for West Africa. Oh, and then um, also um, <laughs> Maxwell Investment Group yes. okay. has also been supported. Thank okay, you thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very and much. I just hope you have a successful program. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you too for watching. Thank you for having us in your home from 5.30 to 7.30. My name is Anaya Tanobwache and I did this with this one. It's very cool. Yeah, so at 3 to 4, we'll be back with entertainment. We'll be up next to school. Enjoy the rest of our program.